What's going on guys, Ryan with Jeff and Joe back with another video today, 2020 tech suit from Miles and Morales to PS4, PS5 video game, and yes, another Spider-Man from the collection. Let's check it out. That's right, guys. We are back. I hope you guys are excited about this as I am because honestly, I got a lot of spider people. We've got this one. We've got the zombie hunter or the zombie slayer, like the zombie slayer Spider Man from uh, the Disney Plus What If show. So I do have that. So stay tuned for that unboxing review. Uh, but today, we've got the 2020 suit Miles Morales, and this thing looks glorious. I must be honest with you guys, it, it looks quite fantastic. Uh, I did get mine from Pop Collectibles. So if you want to check them out, there's a link in the description below. I have a little discount code to help save you some money, but check out this box art. It is freaking sweet. It's got this nice little metallic -y, you know, glossy look going on there. You see kind of the, the light bouncing off it with this matte color and whatever. Uh, it's actually pretty nice, a little wrap around. And then on the back, we've got, uh, you know, all the whodunit, all this kind of stuff. It is a slip cover and uh, let's see if I can get here. Oh, I can't. Anyways, I'm not fighting on the box. Let's check out the figure. I'm gonna put you over here. All right, why are you being difficult? crazy thing. So I do have the figure right here. We have two trays that go along with this unboxing experience. So let's check that out. We got obviously the figure and then over here we've got all the accessories and then underneath all of that is this guy right here which is this nice little diorama backdrop. Pretty stinking cool and on the back they're actually labeled you know so you can make sure you got the right pieces. They go with the corresponding slots. Uh, and then it's got this nice little wing, you know, stand feature, uh, feature going on here. This is actually fairly, fairly nice. I kind of dig that one. So uh, we'll get it out of the way. We'll use it for the uh, posing portion of this. But we do have all of these screens, which I thought were going to come out to be a lot more glossy than they are. These are matte finish. And I, I, it's not a bad thing. Oh, there's a cable attached to that one. Uh, it's not a bad thing. I just thought these would be more glossy and that might maybe as a modification i can do or something with that but i don't know that it's good or bad um, but i thought they'd be that uh, little glossy you got a whole bunch of cables uh, obviously we're going to have our usb because this is the very first usb lit up figure we're going to have and thankfully hot toys is going to give us a lot more of these things but there's a bunch of screens and here's one that has a cable attached to it uh with a nice little laptop thing going on here it's actually pretty sick and cool um and we've got oh look at all this stuff there's just cables and stuff everywhere in here so a lot of stuff in here a lot of stuff to pose and uh then we've got some uh bits and bobs and stuff going on there but you know that's fine let's look at the figure because honestly, it's it's beautiful. It really is quite beautiful. We've got three different uh, face plates, if you will. Uh, we got it like a winking eye. We got an open eye deal, and we got this like light up deal uh, for the uh, USB feature. So that's kind of nice. I do like that these are are different. We'll we'll look at those in a little bit. We got a nice little hologram of Spidey, uh, which is pretty neat. And then we've got all these hands. So let's let's go ahead. At, you know what? Let's take let's take a look at this first. And we'll bring out the figure. Let's go ahead and, and look at some of these details. This particular little hologram deal that sits on top of one of the uh, one of these guys, if you want, or I guess you can put them wherever the heck you want. I do dig it. You can see like it's trans translucent. Uh, it's actually quite nice. Uh, out of all, I mean, we've seen like hologram stuff with uh, Star Wars for years and years and years. This is way cooler than any of those that I can think of, just because of the the pose and the dimensions and the scale of it. Like it's quite quite large for our advanced suit Spidey. So that's kind of neat. Uh, we do have a bunch of hands. Now you're going to have all the normal spider hands, but these are have these translucent effect going through the fingertips. That's pretty stinking cool, right? I dig those. So nice little, uh, we got a little gold cog going on there. We've got some translucent materials, got some metallic paint, got a little finger gloves going on. Nice texture all the way throughout, and you're gonna have pretty much all the standard Spidey hands uh, that we're used to, so nothing crazy going on there. We do have all our numeral webs that we've seen 400,000 times. By the way, what web features should they give us? Like, we've seen the same ones. I, I don't even know how many of these I have now, but what would you like to see uh, in this uh, feature going forward? Because uh, it's been a while since they've innovated anything on that. We do have our figure. 
break him out right here for a second. And we've got two uh, changeable face plates. Got one there. We got one here. And then we have our stand, which I have right here. So this is the uh, the flight stand. Nice little metallic sheen paint going on there. 2020 suit. And obviously it's kind of a flight stand, so we'll deal with that. Uh, but let me get this out of here. And let's take a look at, we'll leave you here. Leave you right there. Let's take a look at the figure. We do have these switch out face plates. As you can see, when this is not lit up, there's not a whole lot going on. I mean, even, you can see it slightly right there. I know there's a reflection from the light above, but you can see it slightly right there. Uh, you get this nice detail going on here. And this, this actually, uh, these headphones set, if you will, goes all the way down here and goes down here, which is uh, magnetic. So be careful with that. You don't want to be losing that. That would suck. And this totally reminds me of like an F1 style uh, race suit, you know, like a pre uh, a pre race suit, obviously you wouldn't wear a leather jacket, but it's got that vibe to it. And I think it's partly because of like this little checkered look right here. And then you got, I don't know, just for whatever reason, maybe it's because I've been watching a lot of F1 lately. Uh, I do have these little materials to get out here. And look at this, look at this. Damn, that's glorious. That's all, that's pretty stinking cool. Look at the red uh, cutouts down the side of the suit as well. That's freaking cool. Now this is not leather. This is like a synthetic soft material, uh, but it's not leather. And then we have some pleather going on on the arm and the suit material, I guess if I had to describe it, um, it doesn't feel, it, it's very much like the, maybe the advanced suit material. Um, but it doesn't have like that heavy padding, thick padding in the torso region uh, that we've seen with other figures. When we get into the articulation, we'll check it out in a minute. But um, I quite like this. I love this little gold and red. I, just everything about it is pretty thick and sweet. Nice little hexagon, carbon fiber-esque uh, uh, pattern here. And then also down here on the lower half, back of the calf. And there's just different textures and different materials and this red stripe that goes all the way down the side. And then we've got this blue, which comes out of nowhere, honestly. There's blue here on the back of the heel. There's also blue here on the helmet, so that's about it. It's really the only pops of non-red and black and gold that you get. And then underneath, as I just lost my magnet, uh, you got the shoes with this translucent material on the soles as well. So there we go. Uh, Camary magnet, you go right there for me. This is stinking cool. So. These guys right here, we can just pop this off. If we can do this, it should just be magnetic. Come on. I don't want to, I don't want to mess up my cable. So that's why I'm trying to be careful with this thing. Uh, so there we go. So this clear part comes off and then you can change this guys out. Now listen, this is interesting. If you take this off, this is what you get, right? But it's missing, it's missing the thing. So those are the wide open eyes. Then you've got this like winking eye. This guy's right there. And then you got the more closed up eyes. So that's that. So you change these out however you like. And then obviously there's light up function, which we'll mess with here in just a second. Um, before I do that, uh, let's check about the range of motion. I have a feeling the jacket's going to hinder us just a little bit. Uh, there's ratchets on the shoulders that go up pretty far. They go up pretty good way. So that's nice. I like the ratchets, honestly. Uh, and then when you go up, this is where your jacket's going to start riding up and you're going to have some difficulties with posing on that regard. Uh, I suppose you could take the jacket off. Uh, I don't see me doing that. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see me doing that, but the back of the suit, let's see if I can get these out of the way. You can see what's going on in the back. And this is why you wouldn't really take it off because you've got the USB port right here. Um, so it would look kind of weird if you took the jacket off and then you didn't have that covered up. That might be a thing. As far as the legs, uh, double bend on the knee. You're gonna have ratchets on the hips. So it's a normal Spidey figure. Uh, I'm not expecting much, if anything, in the torso section, um, but, oh wait, no. Oh snap, there is, it's a freaking strong ass ratchet right there. I was not expecting anything right there. What? Wow. Now, the reason I was saying that is because we've had Thor figures that had this light-up function in the middle. And if you have any of the Thor figures with light-up functions, they literally don't even flip and move at all. That is a welcome surprise. Wow. I like that. Uh, down here, we've got normal ankle 
Now, you're going to have less range of motion here than you would if it had like the smaller shoes, but it's got these high tops. Dude, I'm actually pretty pleased with that. Uh, I didn't see that happening. Wow, that's pretty strong. I guess what we really need to do is pose this guy up, see what he looks like. And here we go. We've got our Spider-Man Miles Morales posed up on the diorama backdrop, which took me about, about 10 minutes to put together. And actually, the instructions were quite good. Kind of dig those. Uh, but there's a, there's a couple of finicky things to go on with it. One of them being the cable, the USB cable that goes in the back of Spidey. Um, there needs to be, if you're going to have them display like this, there needs to be a cutout at the very bottom to let the cable go underneath because currently it's sitting kind of off centered. It's kind of leaning towards one side because it's literally sitting on top of the cable. So that's one thing I probably will end up doing, just cutting a little notch uh, to make sure it, uh, it sits flat. So uh, just one thing to note for that. The light up feature for Miles Morales is fantastic, especially uh, the chest area, the chest plate. I, I think that's probably the coolest part. The light up eye feature is nice. And the fact that they give us USB uh, uh, capabilities is absolutely required because I know if I go back and watch my six kill news video when this was announced, I was like, you know, this thing's going to be dead and it's going to be battery and the battery's going to die. And it's going to be a thing. Uh, currently it, it appears to not be a thing because Hot Toys actually paid attention. So I very much am appreciative of that. Uh, one thing I will note, this, uh, this uh, hologram Spidey here, this guy, the advanced suit guy, sits on this um, uh, articulating arm that you know, comes down from the diorama uh, backdrop, but the weight of it doesn't, it, it leans a little bit. Uh, so on mine, it just kind of, the, the articulated joint back there in the back, um, doesn't appear to be, it's not ratcheted or anything. It just sits there and, and just friction fit. Uh, but mine leans down just a little bit. I don't know if that's a big deal, but something to note, you might have that happen with yours. Um, again, you can check out the, the light up function on this guy. Posability. <clears throat> Posability wise, I was trying one pose where he was had his uh, his right arm up uh, in a fist, and his other hand was kind of almost putting his glove on, glove on or clinching it. Uh, because of the construction of the suit uh, or the the body itself, you really can't get the arms in uh, like a, a bicep or a, a butterfly joint. Not a whole lot of range of motion there, so that pose, I kind of killed it. Uh, it just didn't didn't look natural, so I wanted to get rid of that. Here we've got him just showing off his stuff. He's kind of like uh, Scourge from uh, uh, Ragnarok. So this is, behold, my stuff. Um, this guy right here, I don't generally use the diorama backdrops. Uh, this is one I will absolutely use in the display. I like it. I think it fits the character. I think Hot Toys did a fine job putting it together and I dig it. But I guess now we just need to do some more poses with it and see what we can do. And here we go. We've got our Miles paired up with another Miles paired up with the advanced suit Spidey. So pretty cool stuff here. So the question is, which Spidey figure from the game should you get? There's so many Miles figures. There's that. We have the classic Miles. We got um, the hero suit one, which is Flipping amazing. Uh, I have him in a box somewhere. We've got the bodega suit, uh, bodega cat suit, Miles here, and obviously we have the advanced suit, which is long sold out, and a lot of people are now regretting they missed it. Um, this guy right here, we can, if we can zoom in on him, uh, is quite fantastic. It is, a, in, in my opinion, a supplementary suit for a Miles figure. The original release of the Miles suit I think is the winner, uh, the original uh, hero suit one. I think that's the winner. If we wanted to go crazy and 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 say maybe we can, I don't even know how far the zoom's going to go. Uh, if we want to zoom like way, you can't even see him back there. He's way back there. Anyways, the uh, the Spider Verse suit, which I do have somewhere uh, on that wall. Uh, if you wanted to compare those, uh, then I, I, the Spider Verse suit wins in my opinion. But that's you know movie versus video game. Uh, the Bodega Cat suit is still pretty stinking cool. I do like that one, obviously. And by the way, how about that pose? Pretty good. Uh, and then we have the Advanced suit, uh, which uh, is you know always a winner. So you know th this one's a, a supplementary suit. I think if you just like spider figures, I think this is a, a definite one not to skip. 
I, I definitely enjoy it. Uh, so I have no complaints about that. Um, but should I, would I choose this one over the original hero suit? If I was only going to get one? No, I wouldn't. And if I was only going to get one Miles figure anyways, it would be the Spider-Verse set. So there we go. Hope you guys like this. If it was helpful to you at all, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on this USB thing going on. Because obviously I've got a cable hanging out the back of this thing. And cable management is going to be a... It's going to be a thing with Iron Man figures, Spider-Man figures, light up uh, options in general. And um, But I like this. If you want to pick one of these up, you definitely can. Uh, check out Pop Collectibles in the link below. And as always, click what you like. See you next time.